Well, good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from the rustic log cabin in northern Maine. <laughs> Welcome to my cabin this morning. If you haven't got a cup of coffee, get yourself a cup of coffee. I woke up this morning to a pleasant surprise here at the cabin. I thought it was coming, but I wasn't quite sure because I get a I don't really get a weather forecast up here. But last night I went out and I looked up at the moon and it had one of those rings around it. Normally I believe that that means snow. So I got up this morning and by goodness it was snowing. <laughs> so uh, I woke up, looked out the window and it was snowing to beat the band. What I wanted to talk to you about today was uh, thoughts about my channel. You can see that there's some new things going on uh, since, uh, let's see, November, since November, well, it started back in November 5th is when I uh, went over a thousand viewers, so that opened up other options for me in YouTube. And some of the options I think are pretty good, some I'm questionable about. I'm still learning this whole process. Uh, you see ads now that have uh, come up into my videos. And be patient with me. I'm trying to fix uh, the ad. I feel it's an ad problem. <laughs> what I mean by that is I have uh, 270 videos. And when you get to where you can, you can uh, opt in for these ads, there's an automatic button. The opt-in was automatic. One button. <laughs> there is not an automatic button to opt out. <laughs> so I'm stuck with this decision that I made uh, back in November. I have to individually go into each video and uh, manually uh, delete the videos. Especially, you know, some of them I, I guess have got quite a few. I, I've uh, I've heard in the comments that some of them, now I'm getting it fixed. I've gone in and fixed some of the worst ones, but I will fix each and every one of those videos. It'll just take me, it'll take me some time because it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> no other way to put it. But why did I opt in for the commercials? Why did I opt in for the commercials? Well, believe it or not, putting this YouTube channel together, cost quite a bit of money. If you're just going to dabble in it, you know, a video a month or a video every couple of months, then that's no big deal. But if you have followed my channel for any length of time, you see that I put out a video uh, faithfully every Sunday morning at 6 o'clock in the morning and every Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock. That's two videos a week. That's a lot of videos. That's a lot of work that goes into this to produce, you know, faithfully. You know, I could skip. It would be real easy to skip and all that. But I don't think any of you that have followed my channel for any length of time uh, would like that. And neither would I. Uh, I'm kind of a, uh, you know, a stuck in a rut kind of guy as far as uh, when I put my mind to doing something, I, I make sure to accomplish it. Uh, that's the only way that I've been able to live. Uh, my lifestyle is to by putting putting your shoulder into it and and pushing hard and making things happen. Well, that's exactly what I've done with this channel. Uh, it's all new to me, or at least it was when I started. I like to feel that I'm not nowhere near a professional YouTuber, uh, but I like to feel that I'm getting better, and I like to feel that uh, I'm I'm making content that you're interested in and that you come back for. So getting back to why the commercials. And, and again, it, there's cameras, there's computers, there's, I run this channel with uh, five different editing programs. And it's not that I'm a professional editor, but each program has a little different uh, thing to it that I like. Uh, so uh, in order to accomplish what I want to accomplish, uh, that's, that's, how I, that's how, what it takes to, uh, to run this channel. I have one program that I use faithfully, 
and then I have another one that helps me with the thumbnails and stuff like that, that thumbnail that you see in the beginning. And then I have another program that helps me with the words that you see on that thumbnail. So it's quite a process to, to produce these videos. But the other thing and uh, that I'm after, and, and this is where I appreciate you guys tolerating the YouTube uh, commercials, is there's a piece of equipment that I would like to own for this cabin. It's called a snow dog. It's not a dog, <laughs> and it's not a snowmobile, but it's right in the middle. <laughs> A snow dog is a track machine that goes on snow or it goes on ground, bare ground, which a snowmobile cannot do. It doesn't have a big motor, so top speed is probably 40 miles an hour. But it is something, it's, it's kind of like, if you know anything about old equipment, it's kind of like an old Gravely. That was a farm, little farm thing like a lawnmower you walk behind. They would pull garden tools, you know, for or tilling ground and stuff like that. It's, it's just a workhorse. Uh, there's times that, you know, for helping me get stuff back in the bush and out onto the lake, a little piece of equipment like that would be really handy. And uh, I'll try to put a link to it. I'll try to find one and put a link to it down in the description of this video. So if you want to watch what a snow dog will do. But I'm saving my ad money and stuff like that to put towards this snow dog. Uh, it's. I think I can find one. I think new they sell for around thirty-five hundred dollars, four thousand dollars. And at this point in the game, nobody is getting rich on YouTube, on East Grand Woodsman Channel. So the, it comes in slow but sure. Uh, but it, probably that's probably a good thing. And I'm I'm in this for the long haul. Uh, I don't plan on going anywhere with this channel. I thoroughly love. Uh, sharing my cabin life with with you guys. I really like having coffee with you uh, here at the table uh, looking out the window. It's it's added another dimension uh, to my cabin life here that I didn't think I was missing but I'll tell you I really like it. So. <laughs> I like it that you guys uh, feel comfortable at my table, uh, all that. So that's just that's just where we're headed here with the channel. So what's on the horizon for East Grand Woodsman Channel? Well, I'm working on a new project this week. That's what I am up here for. I am up here building a YouTube-friendly ice fishing house. That is a portable fish house that will go behind the snowmobile. And what I mean by YouTube friendly is like we tested here at the cabin for uh, live stream and everything went well. I've done two live streams here from the cabin. Uh, when I got home and watched them, they, the first one was so-so and that was basically because of lighting. And the second one, uh, the lighting was better, so I think that's probably uh, as good as it's going to get, at least here in the cabin. But what do I mean by uh, YouTube friendly fish house? Well, I have a GoPro camera that I can hang from the ceiling. And uh, so it will look down the hole. So you guys can be a part of uh, what I want to do is have a live stream from the fish house. And, and that way you guys can have your coffee with me. I think it would be great. I think it would add another dimension to the ice fishing experience for me and at the same time you guys can come along now there'll be a lot to pay attention to so you know between fishing uh, taking care of comments and all of that but I think it'll be fun uh, that's what I mean by YouTube friendly I'm gonna build a little uh, desk in in one end of the fish house it'll do double duty if I've got two people fishing then it will become a second seat and otherwise than that, it'll be a desk for maintaining the live stream stuff that I need for uh, doing a mobile live stream. And with any luck, uh, it's pretty good cell phone service up here. So with any luck, I could be able to do these live streams from anywhere on the on the ice uh, during ice fishing season. So who knows? Maybe we can go whitefish fishing together and lake trout fishing. 
I'm pretty excited when I catch one of them big lake trout, you know. Now, I don't know if we can get one on, uh, on, on live stream or not, but wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still building a fish house. I got the base built yesterday. Now it's snowing, so I'm snowed out today. Uh, tomorrow I will start. I'll probably get all the walls framed up tomorrow because that goes pretty fast. With any luck, I'll get it framed up tomorrow and get the tarp on it. And that way, uh, the snow will stay out of it. I can put in a buddy heater and I can work on the interior uh, in foul weather. I can work on what I need inside of the fish house, uh, brackets and stuff like that, and try to figure out how I'm going to hang these cameras so that they don't fall down the ice hole. <laughs> that would be a bummer. I think what I'm going to do is put in some tie-ups and tie the cameras to the fish house itself on a short leash so that if they fall or get knocked over uh, during, you know, these fights with these fish in a small building, sometimes gets a little violent, you know. <laughs> You know, uh, I build these shacks really small because I'm mobile, I'm portable. Uh, I can pull. I, I'd rather. This lake is so long, 30 miles long, and there's so many holes to fish and so many areas to try that it, it really kind of doesn't make any sense to uh, get tied down to one fishing hole, like a lot of people do with a fish house. Uh, usually, the problem with a fish house is it acts more like an anchor than a mobile. Uh, place to go ice fishing. Uh, once the fish house is planted, a lot of fishermen will stay right there and fish that particular hole for the entire winter. I rarely do that. I'll fish a hole for a couple of days, maybe even as much as a week. And then at the end of the week, I will uh, move the fish house a mile, two miles, or down to a different hole, or down to a different uh, high spot in the lake that I know about. I stretch these things out in the summertime during summer fishing. So that's why I build these shacks small and light. Uh, they have heat, they have food, they have lights, they have everything. This one might even end up with a solar panel. Uh, so I can charge batteries for this uh, uh, live stream. I have a battery right in the right in the fish house that would handle my, my lighting situation, especially if it gets close to dark and we're out there fishing for a burbot. Uh, I'm going to need some lights in there, so I'm thinking about strapping a uh, solar panel to the roof for this one and putting in a control panel for the battery and putting in a battery and all that and that way I'd have all kinds of juice out there in this fish house uh, waiting for me. So We'll see how that all plays out. It'll take me a little while to get all that worked in, but that's the plan for this channel. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this. I'm looking forward to uh, turning this live stream into hopefully something pretty big up here uh, like the like the videos you know where, where we can share you know real time real time instead of some of some of the times when you get a video from me I might have made it uh, three or four weeks earlier because I cannot upload videos uh, from the cabin because I did a uh, I think boy it wasn't any more than a couple of minute video one time and I tried uploading it here from the cabin and it was going to take I think it was going to take two hours, maybe three hours, which a three-minute video, you know, I don't, I don't do those very often because I talk too much. <laughs> so, but get yourself a cup of coffee. I've got to stir the fire, and I'm just sitting here looking out the window and watching it snow. The fire is crackling in the background. It's nice and warm in here now that I've stirred the fire a little bit. Thank you for coming along for this uh, little channel uh, discussion. I just wanted to bring you guys all up on the same page as I am so that you'd know what's going on uh, here at East Grand Woodsman. And I thank you very much for being a part of this channel. And I will see you in the next one.